guys, what's up? Scott, your boss of mine. Today's video, a great machine. It's not used enough to strengthen up your lower back. The back extension machine, okay? At the end of every workout, do 100 of these or more, or at least 100. Because as much as you train your abs, you need to train the back as well to balance you out, okay? If you train your abs too much, you don't train your lower back. The posture over the months and years will start to fall forward, okay? If you want to train your lower back and your abs the same amount, this thing's a great machine, it's underrated. I'll show you. Uh, so you want to get 100 of these, go right down, come up just until your, your feet and your neck is a straight line. Okay? You can put like a, like a stick on your back and it'll be straight. Okay? So here to here, that's all it is. You want to do 100, stop when you start. Keep it slow and controlled. Focus on your lower back muscle. Feel the burn. If you have to stop for a couple of seconds, that's okay. Keep going, keep your count. You can hold a weight if you want here to make it harder. Once you start getting a strong lower back, you add a weight to it. Good if you feel a burn, okay? Make sure you only come back to straight. You don't go back too far, okay? Just there. Here to there. So do 100 at the end of every workout. Okay, deadlifts are good for your back, but also this as well. Mix it up. Posture, everyday work, if you're lifting things, if you've got a physical job, okay, have a strong back, it's important. It'll last you, last you for years as you get older, so always work your back. Okay, back extension machine. It's underrated this thing. Really good. Control, work that muscle.